Okay guys, so welcome back to a new video. Uh, gonna start doing this more frequently from now on. Kind of, I really wanna get this going, so I normally say that, I normally say that every year, but you know, things have changed. So in for a leg session today at Iron House. Um, I've been switching gyms lately, so I've been going to like Crayford uh, Weights and Fitness, which is a really good gym, but uh, I'm a member at Iron House. So today's gonna be a leg session, gonna take you through some of the exercises I do and why I implement some exercises in at, at the time that I do it. Uh, just have my pre-workout, so had it on the way to the gym. It is a tack, which I got from Supplement Mad, I think it is, um, using discount code George, George 10. So George Osborne, shout out to you. <laughs> in my opinion, it, it really does more like focus wise. So yeah, leg session today and after, I am going for it in massage slash cupping therapy. So I've never had cupping therapy done before, so uh, excited to see what that does to me. Apparently, I've done a bit of research and the day after it's meant to like make you feel a bit like ill, like fluish, but that's just uh, the therapy. So we'll obviously have to see what that's like tomorrow. So let's get into a session. Um, been feeling actually, I actually feel quite tired today to be fair. Like, feel tired uh, didn't have a great sleep yesterday I had football so we'll see what see what today has to bring but um, yeah legs day leg day is always a one to be prepared for and we're gonna go in and smash it yeah I'm rambling on so gonna get into a leg session now and I'll speak to you guys in the next clip hey guys welcome to the voiceover uh, for leg day today now I just want to start off by saying uh, how I'd warm up for a leg day so personally um i would start off doing like five minutes cardio so it'd be uh, like a treadmill just like a walk nothing too serious like walking or biking or some people go on the stairmaster for five minutes whatever it takes for you to kind of get into the zone um i would do that i would implement that for at least five minutes get into the zone and then we move on to the warm-ups so the warm-ups would be um in my opinion things where it's not so uh taxing like it's not as much as a leg press or a hack squat or something like that so for me i do any sort of hamstring it could be lying down or it could be seated hamstring curls just get the blood in get the feel and make sure that you're warmed up for them them big movements after hamstring curl we move on to the leg extension now obviously the the point i do here is you can see my hands uh gripping underneath it's just to keep me in balance also toes are pointing up at all times so the quad is contracted once we do these warm-ups i'll move on to the big sets which is uh, leg press now with the leg press obviously you want to warm up still you can see i'm using knee wraps this is because um normally my knees are a bit shit so i do need to uh, keep them protected at all times i think we got up to eight plates on this eight or nine plates per side um but as you can see with the higher uh, the higher the weight we go in weight the more like uh, I just can't pull back as much I think it's like it's to do with my hips like I said um, which I'm getting sorted out but I do prefer the Cybex one just because I feel like it's a better range of motion um, so yeah like with that we really want to focus on getting that range of motion because you, do, you see some people do like uh the littlest bit of of range and it's just it doesn't do much like you, you want to feel it like at the end you want to be fucking like on your ass okay you want to be lying there on the seat thinking what the fuck have i just done and that goes in most movements to be honest like if you want to progress if you want to progress your lifts you need to be able to take it to that step where um where it's like failure so Normally you would warm up for a few sets, just make sure you got the movement pattern in, you're, you're nice and warm, your blood flow is going. And then you move on to the big sets. Now, when asking about reps, like should I do eight to 12, this kind of stuff? Yes, I would say um, focus on the reps, but at the same time, like just focus on the movement and like find out the reps from that and work towards doing that and making it easier. Once it becomes easier, you 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 progress. You get high, you get heavier and heavier. It's progressive overload. It's it's very simple, but a lot of people, um, I don't know, just overcomplicate things a bit. Like just 
like it's it's not hard. You got you got a lot of people on YouTube that will give you advice for that. You got a lot of people on Instagram you can message for advice. So don't be afraid to ask people, and don't be afraid to um, just try it. Like just try it out, man. Like you're never gonna know if you don't try it. So with this leg press set, this is a this is a drop set. So basically, did uh, eight plates. I think took off two plates, so six. Did did a set with that. Took two plates off and done that. And uh, yeah, at the end, I was kind of fucked. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> like I was laying there just just debating life, to be honest. Um, but yeah, I will go. You you'll hear later on as well me talk about competitions and stuff but i want to kind of go over that a little bit more so my goal currently is to um compete in 2022 obviously um as i go on as you hear later on in the video i want to be coached by aj morris if you don't know aj check him out uh just type on instagram aj morris um i want to be coached by him because i feel like i can get a lot of knowledge out of him and a lot of um I can gain a lot of experience and gain a lot of... I, I genuinely reckon I can build a lot of muscle with him. Um, but yeah, that's that's the plan. Is 2022 to compete. We'd use... Uh, if it's the end of 2020, we'd use that end bit of 2022. Um, basically off-season and 21 to off-season. And then hopefully... Um, yeah, 22, we, we compete. Um, I feel like I'm going quite late because by the time I'll compete in 22, I'll be 25 years old. Um, so it is quite late, but I've seen people do later, and it just get, I don't know. I was watching um a podcast with Fu, uh, with uh, I was watching the Fuad podcast with Samson on, and he started really late. Obviously, I'm I'm not Samson, but uh yeah, he started really late. So it does give people hope, like you can do this at any time. Um, obviously, preferably you start off younger, but you can do it any time. You just gotta have that dedication and um, be able to really push yourself to the limit. So hopefully, I can go in twenty twenty two and uh, do some damage because that's what I want to do. Is obviously everyone wants to win, but I also want to go into it for experience. Like I've never really watched the bodybuilding show so i'm gonna start getting into that uh and i never really thought about even competing uh until like this year to be honest i've just gone about my training uh, progressed over the years and over the past year my uh size like my muscle size and stuff has just improved so from there that kind of gives me uh the faith to kind of jump into a, a competition and just see how I do to be honest but enough of that we move on to the hat squat now this felt all right to be fair this felt all right I've got five plates I think this I think you'll see it here uh, I literally take this to complete failure like I haven't done five plates in a while because of obviously COVID and stuff but um, like before lockdown I had six plates I will get back to that one day uh, when leg press isn't when sorry when hat squat is like the first big movement I can probably do it but it shows that like if you can do a leg press and like all these movements and then implement a hat squat in the middle of your session and still do the amount of weight you can do you're progressing like your your numbers are there it's there like keep going keep doing it and you will eventually it will be like clockwork it'll be nice and easy but um yeah, this is the last set I filmed. So this is another drop set. So I took, I did four plates aside, and then took it, I took a plate off a side of thing, and just went to failure again. Um, but yeah, like with the leg session after this, I basically just did a uh, some lunges like across the gym and outside in the car park. Uh, what else did I do? I did a few like hamstring uh, curls, like, like the single hamstring curls. Um, and yeah, that was basically my session. So. I'm going to leave it here and you're going to hear me in the next clip. So I'm just going to play like a little bit of music over the top or you can hear me fucking uh, grunt. <laughs> so I might leave me grunting. But um, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next clip and thank you for listening.
fucking hell. Um, okay guys, just finished up leg session and had a massage after. And uh, wow, like I, I was expecting this leg session not to go so well today, just because I felt a bit tired, um, obviously football day before. So it was kind of like one of the things I'm like, is it gonna be good? Got into it, just got shit done, and it was an amazing session to be fair. Um, pressed decent numbers today. Wanted to focus on leg press and hat squat a lot. Um, so you'll see that. Oh, well, you would have seen it by now. Um, massage. I've learned. I actually learned pff, that my hips are fucking shit. Right. <laughs> uh, been told to do a few exercises, which I'm going to implement um, in the evening times. So basically, yeah, just found out that, well, I knew it already that my, my left leg is like straight, but when my left leg's straight, my right leg's like this, and it's happened all like most of my life, to be fair. So um, it's just about uh, releasing the tension and stretching it out so that it's able to repair itself, because I'm still at the age where it can repair itself quite quickly. So gonna get home, have a post-workout meal, which are probably, be uh, the same as I always have so um, either cereal or chicken with uh, crumpets and bagels and stuff but I'll show you um, so yeah let's get home I'm fucking starving okay guys so um, yeah post-workout meal I'm gonna do this really quick because I'm fucking hungry and I want to eat uh, so we got 180 grams of chicken hold on 180 grams of chicken two sesame seed bagels with strawberry jam on them and a square bar now uh, my intention is to put weight on um is to put weight on and then slowly diet down and build it into muscle um i just find bagels and like square bars and stuff like that just easy calories to get down uh easy digestion and yeah if it digests quick or if it digests good in your stomach then you should have it Obviously, in um, obviously, you don't want to eat shit and do it, but um, you know, stuff like bagels and stuff work. So I'm gonna get this down. I'm watching a bit of Matt does fitness um, in his new gym, and yeah, I'll get back to you in the next clip where we might discuss basically what I want to. Well, we'll discuss what I want to do. Right, guys. Um, I just want to wrap the video up on uh like telling you guys what i'm going to be doing with competition wise and where i'm going in my progress um so currently nothing's really coming out like i said i want to put weight on a muscle and um, build muscle um this also means that I'm, I'm pretty much like off season but i'm not i'm just like seeing how things go for the time being because my plan is to hopefully compete um in a natural federation uh in 2022 so that means next year or maybe the um like the end of this year hopefully fingers crossed if he's got space i i want to be coached by aj morris now why aj i mean you only have to look at his profile and his clients and who he is as a person to just know he's one he's known as the natural like the natural the king of naturals okay and in my opinion that's what i want i want someone who's going to um, not only put me on stage to the best I can be, but also to learn a lot from him, okay? Now, I think this is why people, um, I don't, th I don't know why people steer away from coaches, to be honest, because if you've got a good coach, he will, it, it's not only, um, money to improve yourself, but it's money to invest in knowledge, in knowing what to do, nutrition-wise, uh, training, everything to do with that. It will only teach you in the future. I'm, I'm, I would say I'm very dedicated to. Like if I stick, if I put my mind to it, I'll stick to it. But um, I need someone there to just like you know, give me a little bit of encouragement. Tell me this. Tell me if I'm shit. Tell me if I'm good. I don't really care. Like I just see it as an improvement. So yeah, AJ is the guy I want to be coached by. I want to. If it's the end of this year, I basically want to spend the whole year just off season putting whatever aj wants me to do uh like put on put on muscle put on weight go there go all in on it for in 2022 we can start prepping and hopefully i'm confident in myself and hopefully we can come out with with a fucking win 
that's what everyone wants, right? It's a, it's a win, but it's a good, it's going to be a good experience. And um, obviously, when it comes to prepping and stuff, I'm going to make sure I film all this. I'm going to make sure I film it, not only just to show you guys, but to also look back on on myself and and say I done that and I done it to the best of my ability, or look at it as a stepping stone of improvement. So that's what we're going for there. I'm going to wrap up the video here because it's, it's it's quite a long video, but um, I hope you guys enjoyed seeing the leg day uh, i'll bring you other days like other gym um sessions and stuff and go through it and apart from that it's been darren please subscribe like the video and i'll catch you in a bit